Wow, bravo, you guys. <laughs> bravo. It was a really good performance yeah. of a piece that is very treacherous. Very difficult. I, <laughs> I, have, I can tell you that I have played more than one performance of this piece where I've where we've fallen apart a little bit in the middle of the performance. So, so. Take a deep breath. <laughs> You've just worked out <laughs> your day's work. So, um, a couple of ideas for you guys. Um, I felt that, just a couple of general um, reactions. I think that there are a lot more times when you can play softer. Um, the very beginning, where you, the beginning of the second part um, that you guys played uh, is one example, and the coda, the beginning of the coda, is another example. And in general, in in this dance material, I felt that maybe you guys were using more bow than you needed to. Um, we talked a little bit yesterday about how um, the one of the continuing challenges of music like this is refining the sense of rhythmic vitality, and uh, and and working on. Uh, getting strokes and articulations very together. And I thought that generally your strokes could be more compact. Mm -hmm. uh, you could focus on precision and focus on uh, consonants a little bit more. So, uh, and some, when you're using a lot of bow, then you have a little bit less control over, over that component of it. And it's, so it's not the vowels that we're looking for, right, in these, in these sections. It's the, um, it's the sense of verticality. Mm -hmm. um, and also, in the beginning of the second part, um, there's, I feel like the music ha has a great sense of anticipation for what's to come, right? You've, you're about to, to do this wild, I don't know, maybe pagan dance, and you're about to dance for the rest of the night, and, and, and you're getting really excited about it, right? So um, maybe we can work on that a little bit more later. And then in contrast with that, um, the, the recapitulation um, I didn't get to hear the first part. I don't know what the first part sounds like uh, in your performance, but um, in contrast with that, the, the, the recap is like this music that, um, well, you've been dancing all night. You're, you're kind of tired, <laughs> right? You're, this, this, it's not a dance anymore. And I feel like uh, there's a sense of, um, I don't know, exhaustion or resignation in, in this recap music. Um, that you could have gotten a little bit better um, right when you start, right when the cello um, uh, solo started, I felt like there was maybe still a little bit too much swing in the way you played dee da dee da. And it's a fine balance. I was thinking maybe you, were, you guys are trying to be careful to not play it too slow, which I, I think is a concern in, in the recap, but maybe sing through the line a little bit more so that it's very clear it's not a dance, mm -hmm. right? I really agree with everything that Wayne has said. I, I thought at the very beginning that maybe it was just the energy was too open and I wanted it to sound so much further away. Like you're walking towards the village and the party is in full swing, but you can hear, you can hear the, the drums and you can hear the guitars, and, but it's happening and there's a lot of energy and it's contained. But, and, really, I felt like it exploded too soon. I felt like you ran there <laughs> and you got there. <laughs> I wanted to sort of walk slowly with you and then as you we were approaching your destination, that's when the doors really open and you arrive to that celebration. Um, I also felt um, that you could feel a little bit more together. I agree with the, the compactness of the rhythm and also the articulation. In this hall especially, it's very live. So you might want to, I, w I wanted the, the palette, the dynamic palette and also the textural palette to be bigger. So um, that everything is a little bit more concentrated and we could feel the energy instead of just using a ton of bow. I also felt in the recapitulation that, um, as Wayne said, you're exhausted. And it's also for the audience the first time we, we finally arrive to a point where we can also take a breath and exhale. Um, it's a combination, since they actually, the audience also didn't hear the first part, but the recapitulation is a combination of the first and second parts together, but it's so distorted, you almost don't recognize it. Um, I want it to sound a little bit more desolate and um, 
perhaps you're, you're actually kind of recalling what happened in the past, or you're looking backward, uh, sort of a feeling that you wish you, you were back uh, in your original starting point. Um, do you want to start actually at the beginning? I, I would love sure. to just begin it. Your pit is, by the way, your cello is very resonant, so if you could, if you could keep it contained. <laughs> stop you right there and I'm wondering I'm looking at these dynamics um, um, it, it's Daniel right um, so you start in piano and then you get to you arrive at a cadence in mezzo forte and I'm just wondering if just to use Debbie's mm -hmm. um, imagery if you're um, approaching this dance party in, in a <laughs> village can can it sound a little bit more distant distant at the beginning so yeah, bum, 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 bum. but then when you arrive at the cadence bum, 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 bum. There's a little bit more of that. And same thing uh, in the second phrase. And then, and then finally the third phrase when you guys have these fragmented sixteenths, right? Da 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 dum, ba da da dum, ba da dum, ba da dum. Just a little bit more uh, range with those dynamics. And one other thing, can you pay attention to um, the second and fourth eighths a little bit more mm -hmm. when you play it? So just a little bit more on the back of the beat. Try again. I think even there, if you could still keep it, keep it piano. piano, yeah. Okay. I mean, you're, you're adding the viola voice, so immediately the volume is going to go up, but I think that feeling of anticipation should still mm -hmm. be there. It, it, sounds, it sounds like it has more character and rhythm when you're yeah. a little bit on the backside yeah. and you're not falling forward. So feeling the in, inner beat. We talk about this in the quartet all the time about filling yourself, like every inch of your body with rhythm, whether it's fortissimo or in the most intense pianissimo. And actually, if you can, can feel that Yeah, like just, you're going to party really soon. It's going to explode. <laughs> just, just hold back, hold the reins. Yeah. And also in that second phrase, maybe try to resist making an overt crescendo in your, mm. in your phrasing. Have the comma, right? So if you could really feel mba, mba, di, that I was watching, I mean, I was looking at the score because there's so many things happening, but a few, I took a few moments in the performance just to look up and to look at you as a group, and I felt like at those key moments where your energy sort of gathers, I, I had a feeling not everybody was feeling it the same, and perhaps there was a little bit more following than leading. I think in a piece like this, or really any quartet, there should be an equal ownership of, um, I guess, just leading the group and not feeling like, okay, we're just gonna watch first violin because your eyeballs were humongous. <laughs> yeah, actually, could we do that leading up to there? Um, and I felt maybe at even number three. Can it like swing a little bit more? Um, 
really feel like you're dancing. Maybe showing three. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, Try to make that a little bit better. Mm -hmm. So I think the key in this last, um, the right before the comma, is to really follow through. Da bum 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 bum, and then feel that moment of lift together. Bum ba da. Uh, well, I guess you have to cue right. Bum ba da dum ba da dum. So I think more follow through, and then like a, a strong sense of, of of eighth notes breath before the next downbeat. Da da dum ba da da dum. And also, um, just generally in, in this stuff, to make it crisper and to make it feel more dance-like or more rhythmic, make sure that you're not starting from above the string. Mm -hmm. um, that you're from the string. Yeah, mm -hmm. so all these E flats, the bu 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 just, I mean, this is a little bit more of, um, of a project, not for right this moment, but try to practice um, starting every note from the string. And those chords also, right before five, the bum, bum, you're just starting a little bit above the string and if you start, if you get a crisper consonant, that'll make it more effective. Can we just try one more time? Can you start right on five ones? And try, um, so it's, you're, watching, you're watching him, right? Uh, Peter, is it? Um, so try to connect with him and try giving just an eighth cue. So, ba da dum. And, oh, okay, and can you try starting from the string? That was good. Did that feel okay? Try one more time for practice. Good. Now, can we go two before that? And the, the trick is to make sure you, you actually you do that after the last chord, right? <laughs> So just right here, you're pianissimo, you two are piano, and he's actually the only one who has forte. And I'd actually like to hear those layers, because right now it sounds very similar. Um, that, yeah, that was better. <laughs> also, I was thinking any time you have these sort of drum-like or strum pizzicato or rhythms, can, sometimes they have a tendency to feel like downbeats. And in the notation, you might have mm, ba, mm, ba. If they could, you could feel the, the meter actually a little bit more strongly. So I know it, it switches from 5-8 to 3-8 to 3-4. That you really make it clear when it's a, a strong downbeat. And even the way that you pitch and feel that inner rhythm, that you're kind of coming off of that, of those strong beats. Do you, where do you, where's a good start, a place to start? I'm actually thinking, can we, can we skip We're, around a little yeah, bit? Yeah, definitely. Um, because I'd love to touch the, the recap yeah. later, but first I want to jump to um, the coda. And, and you guys are doing a, a, a great job at the beginning of the coda um, of keeping this together. <laughs> this is, I think this is the most terrifying, one of the most terrifying places, right? Um, let's, let's start from the coda. I want to see if you guys can play a little bit softer um, with all of this stuff. Just, just keep it contained. I know it's really risky. <laughs> But let's just try it. So, so e even even there, can you use less bow? And I mean, you want them to hear you, right? But using more bow won't necessarily help. Maybe less bow and more concentrated, and you want them to hear the. Da -da 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 -da. Perhaps the ponticello could be even icier. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. So not a lot of pressure, but yeah. just much closer to the bridge. Yeah. You get that effect. Yeah. 
Good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can go home now. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, so, so I know that's, that's treacherous and that'll take some work, but let's do this next section. And can we actually do it a little bit under tempo? So what I want to focus on is making sure that, that the stresses are, are where, you, where you really want them. So let's try da da dee da dum ba da da dum ba ba da dum ba da da dum Try two things. So you've got two mat different materials going on at the same time, right? At least. Um, can when you have da da di da 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 dum, can you try making it very legato? So actually, not feel the beats inside. I know you have. To, if you were to divide it up, it would be da 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 dum, right? But let's actually try making da 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 yum. So really pull your bows, and then. The, the rhythmic material in the cello, can you make that more rhythmic? Yum, bum, bum, bum. Don't hold back. Okay. Good, good, good. Now, da da da, be a be a ba ba da. Try to be very specific about that. It's, it's missing a little bit of verticality and again, maybe a little bit too much bow. So mm -hmm. what's coming out is just da 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 be da be da bum bum yeah, and scoop. and yeah scoop and these slurs are going against the written meter right mm -hmm. um, and that's not it's not apparent enough so let's try it again I think you could actually use a little bit less bow, yeah, less bow. Yeah? yeah, but still feeling that you really want to feel the tug of the string underneath the hair. Dee, da, dee, okay. da, da. Also, when you join uh, Daniel, right? When you join Daniel on the second eighth of the second bar of three, dee, da, dee, da, da, yeah. Like it, so it feels like it's kind of happening, like you're all spilling into it, but really lock in there. Can you try one more time? Because you're actually playing against them, if you could feel the um, the sustenuto in the slurs, like di ya di ya di ya, because right now I, it it sounds very clear, um, but it's almost as if you're doing two downs and two ups, di mm -hmm. da di, but di ya di ya di. Okay. So like use your back, and get your yeah. Actually, can we do just at the beginning of the recap? Sure. Yeah, would that be? So here, I mean, I was even thinking, Daniel, as you transition that you can take your time to really it's to expand and expand on the sound and really take your time to get the right color um, that you feel like you've let all of your energy out it felt a little bit charged um, like you you still had that energy from the the, the previous section so if you could just mm -hmm. release that should we go directly directly sure. on it on the yes
even just there with these uh, glissandi tea. Tea. Um, he 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 says it a second time. For me, I wonder if it could. It's almost you're trying. You're repeating. You're repeating yourself because you need to say it a second time. I don't know. Something about it feels a little bit too similar to me. I even think the tea. Maybe there just be more space. Um, there could be. Yeah. 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 I think we have to actually wrap up, but amazing, really, bravo. <laughs>